up everybody? My name is Alia de Baron and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is well and may God bless you in your everyday lives. So I've decided to do one video a day for the next three months on both my French and my English channel. And they are going to be portrait videos like this one and they will all start with a mini vlog of two minutes on my daily life because I do a lot during the day. So I decided to add a little bit of myself, of my life into my YouTube videos. I hope you like it and if you don't want to watch the vlog that is absolutely fine you could just skip it in today's vlog i've decided to do my barcelona vlog i came back to the uk two days ago and i've been so busy today i couldn't actually record anything i've done so i've decided to show what i've done earlier this week I was in Barcelona, Spain and I stayed at the Hilton. That hotel is so great. I loved it and enjoyed it so much. I wish I was still there because I came back to the UK and the weather is not even that great. Like it is raining, it is cold and I wish I was still in Barcelona. <laughs> so for the last 12 days I've been in Barcelona, Spain, Zurich, Switzerland and Luxembourg city in Luxembourg and those last 12 days were amazing just great so it will be such a shame not to actually do a vlog on those places so in the next few days i'm just going to show bits and pieces of what i've done recently so at the hilton well in barcelona i don't know if i should say barcelona or barcelona it's a bit like when they say paella they say paella i don't know it sounds so great so we actually enjoyed the pool we literally stayed at the pool all day on that day. I swam and also got some good food for breakfast and also as a snack we had some nachos and some pulled pork. That was so great. And I was just lounging and relaxing with a nice drink. Gosh, guys, that was amazing. Like just sitting there doing nothing. And that pulled pork, let me tell you, it was the best. And we also had paella during our stay in sangria i don't drink alcohol but that sangria was good and i couldn't even test taste anything like i couldn't taste the alcohol at all we had paella for lunch paella for dinner paella as snack i can tell you i was waking up in the morning testing paella in my mouth let's pronounce it paella that was so good just imagine sitting under the sun like beach front eating paella and watching people walk by or cycling or doing nothing that was good and i enjoyed it so much the paella <gasps> we had seafood paella we had um, chicken paella but this is my serious face when i eat like don't bother me when i eat like face food <laughs> food face <laughs> and then we enjoyed the beach we had such a nice walk and i think on the third day we went to barcelona city center that's where the cathedral is and all that but for the first two days we just stayed beachfront but now i'm back in the uk so this is the theme the title of this the topic i don't know what to say the topic of this video about your hay fever how to get rid of your hay fever in exactly 10 seconds so I came back to the UK and I decided to go get my shot of Kinalog you can only have it done at a private clinic because it is not on the NHS it cost between 75 pounds to 150 pounds it all depends on the clinic you're going to but if like me you suffer from acute and I mean severe extreme hay fever this is what you need to do. You need to go and get your injection done. Get your job done, you'll be sorted. And trust me on this. This is the best thing that could happen during hay fever season. My hay fever was so bad, like so very bad. I could not get out of the house. Like my face was puffy, my eyes, my throat was itching all the time. No matter what the GP prescribed me, I could not just get rid of it like it was awful I could not go to gardens I could not go to parks I was washing my clothes as soon as I got home I was like closing all the windows like no flowers no nothing I was putting Vaseline in my nostrils to block the pollen I was wearing sunglasses and a mask every single time I was going out I bought a dehumidifier I spent so much money trying to cure my hay fever it's crazy 
that's not a way to live during spring or summer. So my GP was like, you could get an injection because yours is getting so very bad. And I was like, hold on a minute. So you are telling me that there is an injection for this and I've been suffering for that long. It was like, yeah, but it's not on the NHS. I was like, I don't mind. So last year I had my injection done last April. I don't have any symptoms now, so it's still working, but I decided to go and get my jab just in case, you know. So this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Bye.